Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to episode one of Passion for Fashion. In today's episode, we're gonna be going over how to get started with your brand and like the beginning steps of where you even begin at. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Sorry, it's also super, super windy out here right now, so I'm wearing a hoodie. But um, I just decided to come outside and enjoy the outdoors. You know, it's very pretty out here today. Um, basically, the first thing you even wanna think about when running a brand is brand identity and your philosophy behind your brand. You know, what do you want your brand to stand for in the end is what you're basically thinking about. You know, do you want to promote a certain audience or a culture behind your brand like anime, western influences, etc. Um, um, but anyways, yeah, you want to come up with a brand identity and then we begin part two of just getting a design in hand. Um, there's a lot of great designers out there right now. There's thousands of designers that I can pick from right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop some up on the screen right here. These are all people that I've used personally and that I can trust and that I can recommend to you guys. I know they are not scammers. I know they are good people. You should check them all out. I'm gonna drop them in the bio and pop them up on the screen right here as well. All right, so the main thing after you get your design is figuring out how to get that design of a PNG file onto an actual garment like this one. So the first step and the first thing you should think about before you even print anything onto a shirt or a hoodie, whatever it is, is the blank and the garment you're gonna be using. There's hundreds and hundreds of garments out there. You know, there's high-end ones like LA Apparel and Rue Porter. I only recommend those if you're actually selling a lot of units and a lot of garments. If not, I would stick to some lower-end ones that are still really, really great products like All Style, there's Hanes Beefy Tees, there's Gildan. I wouldn't recommend Gildan. Um, everyone hates on it. I personally don't use them, but there are some good Gildan shirts like the Gildan Hammer Tee. That's a really good one. Very cheap as well. Almost costs nothing to use them. Um, there's there's tons. I can drop a link in the bio with a site that shows all the blanks and all their pricing. And I'll also pop some of my favorite ones on the screen right here. Personally, my favorite and my all-time go-tos are All Style for t-shirts. For hoodies, I use Independent Trading Co and let's see what else for sweatpants i like to use comfort colors also for t-shirts as well comfort colors is a really good t-shirt and sweatpants brand all over around um, they're actually ran by gildan itself um, all around great products you should check them out i'll link them in the bio and i'll also pop them up on the screen like i said um, let's go ahead and get into the next aspect though all right so i actually found a better spot to mount my phone rather than holding it and having it shake all over the place hopefully it's not too blurry or anything uh, but basically, when you're working with a manufacturer or you're trying to find a manufacturer, you want to ensure that once you like find the manufacturer at least, which I'm going to pop some up on the screen right here. These are all some great people. They're kings. They're running the game right now. Um, these are like the print gods, in my opinion. Um, once you find those people, you basically want to make sure when you send them your design, you want to specify the design size and the dimensions of it, as well as the garment you want as well as you know anything else do you need custom size tags do you need custom zippers on your hoodie etc it's just these are all things you have to tell them otherwise they will not do it um, make sure you specify the dimensions of your design as well like i said because in their eyes if they go off the mock-up you know if i were to send a mock-up of this hoodie they might put the bowl way farther in the back they might put it way smaller they really don't know the dimensions and how you specifically want it so make sure you send the dimensions and everything they need to know about that garment with that being said homies that is going to conclude today's video um sorry i'm babysitting the dog right now um if you guys found any information valuable please drop a like subscribe and comment some more ideas you want to see in the next videos I'm going to be dropping so much info and we're going to be diving really in depth in the next few videos here. Um, so just like I said, drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.